segment of Pet Place. And this morning we have two special guests on the show. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Now today we have the two different ages because we're going to talk a little bit about dog food and you know feeding puppies versus feeding a full-grown dog. But first let's introduce these little guys. I have a little chow chow. Yep. And what is this dog's story? He's, um, this is Max. He's, we think he's about four, between four and six years old probably. Um, and he just came in as a stray. Um, just a really sweet dog. Chows tend to be uh, pretty independent and pretty aloof and he seems to be actually very sweet mm -hmm. and uh, more attached. And like you were saying earlier, you guys barely ever see chows in there. Um, and, and so to have this one, you know, it's a good deal for someone who's looking for, yeah. you know, a good purebred. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rare. I've been <laughs> out there two years and haven't seen a purebred. Wow. Okay, now let's move on to this active little guy that's just been full of life this morning. This is a pointer lab mix. Just a beautiful dog, whatever it is. Yeah, he's about four or five months old. His name is Chance, and we're, we're thinking he's lab and pointer and maybe some other stuff. Um, just real active, high energy, fun little guy. Pretty smart, picks up commands and training pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Okay. And definitely gonna wanna be a family dog. Okay, yeah, someone with kids to play with him and get his energy out. Now let's talk about puppy food. What types of food or what are the ingredients people should be looking for in their food to get for puppies? You and how old is the puppy range technically? want a meat-based food okay. um, as opposed to corn or grain-based. Um, corn is the number one dog allergen. Um, so if you can afford it, the higher qualities with the meat products first, um, preferably not byproducts or meals, but actual meat. Um, if you can't afford it, you want meat to be one of the first ingredients, okay. as close to the beginning as possible, with as few grains as possible. Okay. Um, we really divide dog food into, or puppy food into um, three sizes. You have puppy, large breed puppy, and mm -hmm. then you have giants. Um, giants generally just need adult food as puppies because oh, okay. the protein's too high. Okay. Um, large breed, we figure anything over 50 pounds is going to be a large breed and should be on a large breed food, which also has a little bit lower protein percentage. Okay. And your little dogs can go ahead and have the higher 30% protein type foods. Okay, well unfortunately we're out of time, but the main ingredient that we're looking for is in the top, you know, list is to have meat, meat. not yes. byproducts meat. Right. Okay, well thank you so much for joining us this morning. There are also a lot of cats over at the Pocatello Animal Shelter. If you have any interest in any animals, go head on over there and take a look for yourself.